hate this tripod or attachment, whatever. Um, right. Hey, hello, people. Hey, guys, it's me, uh, Mazzler Vlogs. And today I have another review to do. This time it's on a repaint of the Dimorphodon. Um, today. I'm not really going to be doing that much. I'm not really going to be talking much because I've already done like a full review on the other one. The original. But it's basically a repaint of the original. Sadly, I had to do this. It's my third time filming. First time. Lost footage. Second time. It didn't go out well. Third time right now. So hopefully this one goes out well. So pretty much it's like a more of a Christmas like Dimorphodon. You know you got green, you got like red and sort of orange. But um, but yeah, it's interesting how inside the mouth is glossed. Just other ones like that. I, I didn't know. Yeah, I revoked. It's something, but it's not as glossed. Not that much. So yeah, this one's mouth is glossed. No paint on the upper jaw. Same as the others. Printing on the wings. This is also somewhat printing, I don't know. With the licensing. Got the new JP logo. You got the scanner thing, so go ahead, steal mine, I don't care. Both legs move, just like the original. Tail is much more soft than plastic. Main difference I could tell is because of the paint and the wings, because this one's wings are a lot more stiff, while this ones are a lot more, you know, loose. Loose. And these ones are a lot more stiff and sturdy. So you know, if you like, okay. Okay, so basically, if you like, you know, like spin it or whatever on the tail. The wings are gonna stay normal. Unlike this one, if you like spin around the tail, pretty much, pretty much the wings will, you know, change. This one's a lot more loose. I must admit, it was interesting how all of the toys for Jurassic Park were just so much praised. Not saying that's like a real bad thing, but I'm just saying, you know, like. The toys were really praised, even though it was a PG-13 movie. And it's a little gruesome, so... Some moments were gruesome, you know, for the kids. For the kids trying to see. So, I don't know, I just find that a little bad. How, you know, the kids wouldn't really be... That wouldn't be the best thing, but, eh, who knows. Heck, I even think... This ain't the, I have the box somewhere, but I'm not gonna bother finding it. Like, it should probably say on the back of the box, this is for the Gal Minus, but on the back of the box, it should probably say at least somewhere that, like, oh, hey, be careful of the movie. Which, apparently... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh. It's weird. It doesn't tell you not... Because I remember on the old packagings, on the old boxes... Of like Kenner and like the old Hasbro on the back of the package, it would tell you like, it would usually say like, "Oh hey, don't show your kids," you know, warning that like, this movie is not, you know, meant for like children. But I guess they just don't care anymore. But hey, whatever. It sort of you know defeats the purpose of Jurassic Park because you know back then, like people liked it because it was like more of a, like adult movie. Like, that's one of the reasons why Michael Crichton's book, original Jurassic Park book, didn't sell well. Was because it originally was going to be meant for children. Sort of like uh, this one old book things I used to read in school. I think it was like a magical treehouse thing. Like how it was mainly based on children. That's why his book didn't really sell well, but um, he changed it for adults and... Then, you know, pretty much almost everybody loved it. Zach left the movie. One thing is they sort of did tone it down a little. 
I forgot who did it. But I forgot who toned it down. It wasn't Steven Spielberg nor Michael Crichton. It was some other dude. I forgot his name. But he had to tone it down because of how gruesome it was in the book. But they also had it had some gruesome moments in the movie. But I think honestly, I personally think it was a bad idea for Kenner to actually make the figures. Because how much they praised it. But, but hey, at least they didn't like praise Trim Wars or anything. That's good. But still, I just find that weird why they would do that. But who knows? It has dinosaurs, so technically now pretty much dinosaurs. The only thing you think of when it comes to di- your dinosaurs is mainly children. And you can't lie. Let's be honest here. It's pretty obvious you can't you can't lie about that. It's pretty obvious, but whatever. So you can see pretty much got fur on sort of the wings and all that. Sorry about the light here. I can't really fast on it. Got the claws, got the mouth, the head could swivel, the head the mouth could open and close and such. This reminds me of the original Dimorphodon from Jurassic World. I won't really call it original because Jurassic World was only made in 2015, so Jurassic World ain't that old, honestly. It's not that old of a movie, it's only like three years and that's it. But, here it is. Um, sadly, on the, I don't know if it's just mine, but on the front of the mouth, you could see that there's like, the teeth are not fully painted. You got a small yellow eye. I managed to get this guy for four bucks at Circle K. He's apparently every now I was getting some things at Circle K, and um, there was actually a storm out and all that. I was in Joshua Tree, and the Circle K and Joshua Tree pretty much um, apparently sells these attack pack figures for only like four or five bucks. I like how many normally cost, which is like eight. And in the future, they're probably gonna cost more because they're not gonna be made anymore. But basically, uh, um, yeah, there was basically a storm out and a lot. So when Circle K, you know, it was, you know, went over there to get some, you know, snacks and a lot, but then all of a sudden, you know, apparently, well, you know, this guy was, these were being sold there for like four bucks. So honestly, if you're trying to get a little tag pack figure, because honestly, they're they're okay. You know, they're not great or anything. They're not like Papo or the original Kenner. They're you know they're just a toy. But you know, but honestly, I would probably recommend uh, getting them at Circle K. Especially don't get them at um. Spe- yeah, especially don't give them, get them at um, what do you call it? Universal Studios. That's where I got my Dilophosaurus one, and it pretty much cost 25 bucks. It cost 22, but 25 of tax, so honestly, I would not recommend getting them at um, Universe Studios. Like, if you're going to Universe Studios and you're going to get some Jurassic Park merch or whatever, I'd recommend just getting, like, a pen or something. Something that you can't find anywhere else. Because you can find these pretty much at anywhere. So yeah, usually it costs twenty five at Universal for. They cost twenty five bucks at Universal Studios. They cost five bucks at Circle K, and they cost eight bucks at anywhere else. So there's a little um, there there's probably probably helpful I guess I don't know. They have that same thing as the original. If you want me to do a more little in depth view on these things probably watch the video on this one these that's where I go in more in depth with the detail this one has somewhat been airbrushed on the back so no, this one's not this one has been cheaperly more cheaply made than this one it's funny how um, the company I think it was like Mattel yeah yeah it's Mattel the company Mattel is starting to um, cheap out on these figures actually I don't know it's just my opinion like, yeah, they're good from the start, but now, honestly, now they just suck. Sorry about that. That's a noise. But, yeah. Honestly, Mattel is starting to, like, cheap out now. And they ain't that great. They ain't that good anymore. Like, I guess the Alberta source was decent. But, 
I'm just saying, you know, they're not that good anymore. But yeah, says so that. I don't really know what else to say other than the paint, than it being a more like a dark green with a a dark purplish. I'm not really purplish. I'm like a more like a darkish. I don't know how to explain that. Like more darkish red in the tongue, like orange and like a reddish orange on the green on the wings. Oh god, dang it! Got caught up in the tripod, right? But um. Not that much up with it. Same thing. It's got yellow eyes. Like the original also. Oh, no, the original has like an orange eye. This one has yellow. But yeah, just besides the wings, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm personally okay with repaints. I wish we got repaints for Jurassic World. Then all of a sudden we wouldn't probably, you know. We wouldn't really be doing this, I guess. I'm not a huge fan of Mattel. I'm gonna be straight up honest. I'm not really a huge fan of these new figures. I sort of like more of like the old school kind better. I like more of like the old school companies. Unlike Mattel. I'm not saying like Mattel is like, you know, old or anything. But I'm just saying, you know, it's more like, I don't know. They're not really meant not really a type of company that would be sort of like making these things. The quality ain't that good. Well, it's better than the last figures, but you know, it's just the same. I mean, all the quality is the same, but yeah. I'm not really a personal fan of this. I'll still buy the figures and review them because they, they are a fun to review. Like, honestly, if I wasn't reviewing them, I wouldn't be buying them. Because I'm not doing this for money or views. I'm just saying, you know. It's just, I don't know. I just like doing these, like, for to make videos with. But besides that, if YouTube wasn't a thing, I personally wouldn't really care that much about these. But knowing that actual other people are interested in them, I like to, you know, like, show them off and, like, to you guys, you know, like, so, like, if you guys want, like, curious, like, oh, hey, should I get this guy? You know, is it good or is it bad? You know? That's why, like, you know, you could watch my videos on, like, showing you what they're like. I don't know if you're also, like, binge-watching my videos. Then that, and then in that case, that's fine. You know, that's nice to know that, you know, people like to watch my videos. You know? That's good. But yeah, I just do these guys, I uh, just make these videos for your guys' sake. I will be going to um, more like classic old school dress park figures and dress world figures. But besides that, um, yeah. Don't know what to say, but just some repaint. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see y'all next time. Not really that much to say, but yeah. Um, I have to be a Christmas, I guess. That was nice. Well, see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot I, um, to do a uh, size comparison. So, here it is compared to the original Dimorphodon, the size. The green one is somewhere else. I don't know where that is. I put that away somewhere. But we're going to do like a size comparison. Because I don't know if I did this in my last video. But, I know I didn't do this in the last video, the trend on. This video will come out soon, but here's the size comparison. Well, size comparison with this, what am I doing? Wrong demo, I'm done. There, size comparison, so. Have a wonderful day.